Hello, church family. I trust you're doing well. We've been apart for a little more than a week now, and we want to continue exploring these methods of doing life together when we need to be apart. It's kind of our theme for the coming weeks, and it looks like there will be some more weeks where we don't gather. So be watching, please, uh, for the GBC mail. Uh, and in this coming week, we'll also seek to update you on some other technologies that may be tools for us to use. Other video conferencing tools, uh, other apps that may be helpful in our communication. So just be watching. Uh, our first announcement of those will either be on the email or a video announcement such as this or both. As you get that email into your inbox this week, uh, let me steer you to a couple of special announcements that are there. One of them will be a link to the free viewing of the Pilgrim's Progress animated movie. Now I saw this um, probably last year when this debuted and due to the isolation that's been imposed on all of us, uh, that company has made that available free to all who want to watch it. Uh, you'll have a link in the email. Also, there's a special prayer request update regarding the Foster family. Uh, I'll give the full announcement in the email. Now, as I mentioned that email, if you don't receive that, would you please email the church and let us know? You could send your email address to info at gracekc.org. That's I-N-F-O at gracekc. Org. We'd love to get you on that list, especially with so much happening through that communication in this season of isolation. Now, let me also say that if you have any needs or if you know of anyone who does, would you please reach out to someone in the church body? Uh, talk to the person you know best, but also feel free to contact a small group leader or any of the elders and let us know of those needs so we can begin to consider how the church could be a help to some of these folks. Also in these challenging days, remind yourself of what we studied last Sunday, those four unfailing promises that God gives to us. Remind yourself that God's love for me will never change, that God's purpose for me is Christ-likeness, that God's grace for me is all sufficient and that God's word for me is the final right answer. Well, as you can see, I'm still in my wedding attire. Today, we are grateful to be able to pull off a wedding, uh, but now I can say that Justin and Savannah are officially husband and wife. Uh, it was a beautiful ceremony and I want to say a special thank you to all of those who went kind of above and beyond and joined that wedding day parade. You need to look on the link at the Grace KC members on Facebook. I think you can find the wedding video there and see the parade of cars that drove by the church honking and waving uh, to the bride and groom. We were all completely undone. Uh, as we watch this unfold, it was truly a defining moment in this uniquely special wedding. Uh, so thank you to all of you. Uh, there is much more love to be shown in the days ahead, and we want to keep you posted on needs and information uh, through videos such as this and through the email. Uh, so please uh, do your best to keep up with each other as we try to keep up with you. And again, Grace and peace to all of you.